Griffy! Hello, friend. I am doing well -El. I hope you're also doing well -El. to get myself situated. <laughs> Thank you, Stream Elements. You're uh, late. I'm glad to hear you're doing well too, Riffy. Jokes aside. Wonderful to hear. Um, I feel like I, there's something else I need to do, but I, I don't think there is. I usually don't have my notifications sent out. Uh, by now, but I kind of did it a little bit ahead of time, like I primed them. <laughs> I'll check things. Like usually, I like go live, like I hit my go live. To like start the starting soon and let people enter in while I like take the dogs out real quick, fill my water, throw out my go live notifications on Discord and stuff. Uh, but I kind of already prepped all that before I even started, so I'm like, what do I do now? Do I just, I guess we just go. I'm trying to open my can of sport. One hand. Bring coffee at 4 p.m. Are you trying to stay awake or did you just crave it? You know, there's always decaf. What is sleep? We'll find out. Mixed calf and decaf grounds? Sick. Uh, Bex and I constantly do that. Um, like varying degrees of calf. You were nodding off during work, so that's an oh, that's a definite uh oh. Have your nightly coffees? You can't do that anymore. Why not? Do you, is it because like sleep or if it's too personal, like health stuff? Um. Flex depending on how tired I am. Yeah, exactly. Uh. Yeah, like in the mornings I. Um, I had, I, I would typically go more caffeine than not or like earlier in the week, but like later in the week, I do less caffeine. It helps me curb my, uh, it helps me curb my, my caffeine dependency. I guess I'll just start the game. I'm like, I don't have a, I don't have a cool, I don't have a webcam or a face to look at. Or a cool just chatting screen. I don't have anything to put on entertaining wise like Emergent does when he when you get stun locked. So and that's not that wasn't a dig at you, even though it's a a funny thing that does happen. I just I'm just saying speaking factually, I don't have a I don't have a good just chatting screen to throw up on it like, by getting stun locked. But uh COVID ruined coffee for you because it tasted like bath water for a good Oh, that's sad. So you basically had my grandmother's coffee. Or no, my aunt. My aunt, God bless her, cannot make a, a good pot of coffee to save her life. Yeah. 
wants Kappa. Like, she, 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 she used to grow coffee for a living. I don't know if she still does. That's the most ironic thing about it. Wait, did it not save? Hang on. Oh, no, never mind. All right. I panic room. Um. Yeah, like, she... She, uh... Used to grow coffee and roast it herself. But she still, for the love of God, could not make a good cup of coffee. It was always way too weak. How in the U.S.? Oh, she lived in... Uh, she She's in Hawaii. Yeah, that'll do. Which, by the way, is an overrated place to live. Beautiful, beautiful state. Absolute gorgeous scenery. But it gets old after a while because... Like, not the scenery, but just living there. Because, uh... For one thing, it's... It, it, unless you're buying local, which I highly recommend anyways. Uh, unless you're buying local, it's so expensive to buy anything there that is processed or having to be shipped from anywhere else besides Hawaii. Uh, and also, yeah, they gotta ship it all. And also, it, uh, what was, that? What was I trying to say? The, it, it feels it, at any point in time on the island uh, you can see at any of the three out of four major cardinal directions you can see water which could be could be good to some people but I felt extremely claustrophobic after being there for a couple of weeks I enjoyed my time there. It was a lot of fun, but I was glad to be back after it was all over. <laughs> I would go back. But not to live. And I was grateful for the experience. Overall, like... I don't want to sound ungrateful. Because I didn't pay for it. <laughs> it was a gift. This is such an unnecessary shot of... of overhead shot. Like, why did they do that? The, the only thing down there is that you're pterodactyl. thing I, I understood, or not understood, but closest thing I witnessed to what Riffy was talking about with the uh, the, the loss, loss of taste, of, taste of smell, sense of taste, and smell by extension, or vice versa. Uh, it was when I got my, my vaccine shots. Um, I never, I didn't fully lose my sense of taste, but it was definitely muted. Which did, um, kind of, uh, snowball into a loss of appetite. So I, I totally, uh, can, un can see where he's coming from. Didn't know taste was going to be impacted by the vaccine. Yeah, it, it's completely variable depending on a lot of different aspects, like strength of an individual's immune system. I heard, uh possibly unreliable sources about like if you could pre-add COVID um, your, your uh, 
side effects of the vaccine could be worse because your body is already expecting it, so they're always they, like when you go more in full force. Um, like you feel it harder because your body's reacting harder because quote unquote knows what to do. Uh, but I don't I don't know. That I'm not a doctor, I'm not a I'm not a vaccine specialist. I'm not trying to talk with any sort of certainty, it's just And that's still not a case against vaccine. The uh, side effects of the vaccine are far, far better than actual corn. Haven't already, why the fuck not, and get vaccinated. Full stop. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> this is Holly Rogers soon. That's all. Is <laughs> an old video. I'm not gonna link it. Huh? I don't think it exists anymore. I think the guy took it down. Uh, there's an old video. Uh, on YouTube. Not gonna directly link it. Um, but it's just, it's just. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's it's Jolly Rogers Lagoon with lyrics, uh, and it's just a guy saying this is Jolly Rogers Lagoon, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, like over and over again. No other actual, uh, no other actual um, lyrics to it. It's just saying the phrase, this is Jolly Rogers Lagoon over and over again. I think. I didn't get that far, to be honest with you. I couldn't handle it. Um, let me see here. Filters. Enter. Presser. Hang on, I'm trying to... Yeah, maybe, hang on. <clears throat> I have an idea. Thank you for letting me know, Emergent. I think I said earlier on one of my other streams, uh, the um, preamp or uh, deck that I have my um, XLR microphone plugged into. Um, it's a very fancy thing and way too fancy that I need for a stream, but I feel like using it because I bought it a long time ago and uh, don't do much with it right now. Um, when I was moving my desk around, I feel like I messed with a couple of the settings on the deck. I think I might have accidentally turned myself down, so give me just a second. How's that? Is that any that's a little louder, but hang on. Stream deck? No, it's not a stream deck. I don't remember the exact name for it. Hang on. It's a mic preamp slash processor. It's a little better, but it could be also a little louder. So hang on. How about now? Yeah, that's a little better. Why is it? It's like capping it. Oh. Yeah, hang on.
Oh god. What about now? No, that's still limiting it. A little bit off, a little bit of capping, like volume is good, but not super clean, not bad though. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Here, you know what? I got a better idea. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still gonna be here, but there's gonna be some, uh, um, fluctuating of, uh, my mic presence. You'll give me a second. I, th I consider doing this anyways. Um, I said to, I said to Bex, after setting up my my desk, that I might go back to using the other microphone that I had originally, because honestly, there's not much quality difference. Um, and they're the same microphone, it's just one of them's USB based instead of XLR. Um, give me just a second. Okay, um, I'm back, a different microphone. How does this, this is really quiet. Ready to diagnose, thank you. That. That for the noise suppression. Um, at full volume, no compressor, ready. Okay. Feel like... Th okay, here we go. I need to do this. That up to minus... Two? 
That should be better. Oh, that's louder for sure. What about 1.5? Okay. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Cool. How's that? How does that sound on your end? I didn't change. Sounds good. All right, let's hear the game. All right, how about now? Um, this, yeah, this was the microphone I originally used for streaming when I first started. Um, and there's technically nothing wrong with the microphone. Um, I just changed to the, uh, a hair quiet on the game. Okay. Um, I just changed microphones because I felt like it. Um, yeah, usually the game is at like 28. How's that? This is okay, so that I'm gonna try not to like yell. I like it, we're in. All right, cool. Because I felt like I was yelling there for a second, but no, that's it. That should be good. Uh, let me turn off the moderating. monitoring. For my voice. Monitor off. Okay, can you guys still hear me? Now that I, I didn't accidentally turn off the output. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, when unending and I do mic checks prior to stream, we say things at different volume and head positions. A lot of mock stuff like, I'm just so excited right now. Wow. Yeah, exactly. How was that wow just then? <laughs> was that peaked? Was that a little, was that a little crispy? Wow was wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. I need to do some work for the love of Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Emergent, for the uh, drink reminder. <laughs> That's a shame. Now give me a drink. Want some scissor? Came here to get loose with the goose. judge me for renting a room from you when you just offered to rent the room out to me? Bro. Uh, I can't tell if he's... Oh, touch of seasickness. Ah, okay. Do you give me anything, or are you just there for flavor? Because you were the original protagonist of this game before everything went off the rails. I think he's just useless. Much like the seasick tablets. Sub Aqua Egg Aiming. Hmm. 
Great. Bouncy bed. In there, I think that's... Oh, wait. I remember. Oh, or not? Never mind. Oh, wait. I have I have bombs. I have literal grenades. That had to load the scene. Nope, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna blow myself up. Are the only doubloons in here? Yeah. I mean, there's more elsewhere, I know, but... up. A lot of stuff to use the grenade eggs on in this level specifically. I mean, at other levels too, of course, but... I know I need to get in there with Kazooie, so doesn't really matter right now. Let's just go down here and... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's over here. Tra uh, Turtle View Cave, yeah. Cove or whatever it is. Yeah, this level's unique in the sense that it has its own special collectible. There's not a lot of it. But. Alright. Bear was scratching the shit out of our armchair in the office because he was trying to get comfy. and icy cold. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Kazooie. <laughs>
don't think I get the move that I'm expecting, though. I think I get wing, wing whirl or something. Wing whack, that's what it is. Yes, man. This is good for covering large dif distances, I think, right? Because I can just, I can do, yeah, I can like, can I jump while doing it though? Ah, duck. Yeah. Okay. So I could do like, like this. And just get a little extra. Totally unnecessary right now, but. Now I can also get up here. Because Kazooie can jump higher without uh, being burdened by Banjo. But that's all there is right now. To do separate. For now. Go to the pawn shop. it for that. I think this guy's just free, right? I can just pick him up. This is the grunty plushie from the first game. Dark up Banjo-Kazooie. 20? I need I need twenty, but then I also need like two more. Like, oh. There is something up there. How do we get up? Is it is there a shock pattern? Yeah, there is. I don't think this gets me any more balloons, though, unfortunately. There's a cave there, though. What's in the cave? Well, foreign thing can I even get in the cave, though? Oh, it's just a sign. All right, well, I'm here, so I may as well see what the sign says. Gold Beach, Beach and Skull. Oh, it's just telling me. I think, I'm pretty sure it's just telling me the um, teleportation. Okay, well, here's 20 doubloons. There. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's just dive into the irradiated, polluted water that grew this pig a third arm. We'll be fine. Right up there? Doesn't look like it. Hey, tell me to sell me stuff. Hmm. 
Help yourself. <laughs> I love how the glass just shatters and no one bats an eye. Like, was that intentional? You're supposed to have a... Supposed to have... Oh, hang on. I think I might have to leave and then come back. Yeah, there it is. A page for it comes from a legendary Cheeto book. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, so I'm still missing. I thought it was only two. I, I thought there was a whole dialogue box where you. Not option, of course, because it doesn't have branching paths, but. Uh, whole dialogue option of, um, where you, you can, I keep saying option, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. Where you can, like, convince him that it's worthless. Oh, you know, I haven't been into the jet ski shop. I bet you there's some in there. There is not. The Jinjo, are you real? You are real. Yep, there we go. Captain Blubber, how you going, me hearties? So many places to go and things to find. And if I win, I'll be having me a fine new flying machine. So basically, the uh, the flying saucer from Witchy World. Oh, there's more doubloons over there. Okay, good. That's five. Uh, so now I can buy the Cheeto page and then do the Mumbo stuff. The reason I'm doing the Mumbo stuff last is because it unlocks the rest of the world. Essentially. <laughs> it would be still here. It would still be five balloons. Wow. Old Pono is uh real fastidious, is that the right word? Fastidious? Google 
that. No, that's not the right word. At least not what I mean to say. Stubborn. I'll just say stubborn. He's very stubborn with his prices. Hello, hello, yes, Mumbo would like to consult. I do want Mumbo's house, please. I almost mistook that other um, hole for the way to go. This works. Me too, considering you're oxygenating my water. I'm pretty sure hyper-focusing sunlight down onto a body of water is not going to oxygenate it, though. Bodies of water are not plants that photos is not, a single body of water is not a plant that photosynthesizes. <laughs> Video game logic, yeah. <laughs> Although he even tells you, it's like ah, sunlight make no make all air. Like, whatever, I don't care, it's cool anyways. I'm glad we don't have to worry about air management in this level. Levels, The level is already stressful enough to, uh, for 12-year-old me. An air limiter in this world would be terrifying. It would be, it would be awful. The only reason I don't hate this level. Like, I mean, there's not many reasons to hate this level, if I'm being honest. I mean, nowadays, at least. Uh, when I was younger, there was plenty because I was terrified of this place. I'm just getting eggs. From the the anemones with weird undulating tentacles and a giant single eye. To the generalized spookiness of being underwater. Doesn't bother me so much anymore. Because I actually love a lot of underwater settings in a lot of games, but... Boy, howdy, when I was younger. Probably your favorite OST from the game. Oh, dude, yeah. Really, really nice. Really gives me, um... I don't think I can do anything yet. Gives me, uh... Fungi Forest feels from... Um... EK64. Which which one came first? I don't remember. I know I owned Banjo-Tooie before I owned Donkey Kong 64 originally when I was a kid. Um, but I don't remember. DK64 came a year earlier. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah.
freeze the octopus. It'll be fine. It'll bounce back. But both of these songs are part of the Project Dream sound pack soundtrack. Yeah! I heard about that. Yeah, this is a really good... And this area here, I, I love it. I, I love Atlantis anyways. So this this whole area right here is a real real good area. Can't get in there yet. I keep thinking to myself, ah oh, crap, what about my air? But no, I don't have to. We were literally just talking about that. Also, how are you doing, Autobot? Welcome back to the street. Four day weekend? Sick, dude. Love that for you. I'm doing pretty good. I do not have a four day weekend. <laughs> Um, but I'm doing good nonetheless. A pretty easy day at work. So. Thank you for asking. Yesterday was a little stressful because here on the East Coast, where I'm at, uh, we had that hurricane come through, um, which we didn't get it near as bad as, like... New Orleans must have done, must have gotten it. They were right on the coast where it was still a hurricane. Um, we just got the remnants of the storm. It wasn't as bad for us. But, uh... Yeah, it was, it was constant raining all day yesterday. Like, there wasn't, there wasn't a single moment yesterday that it, that it wasn't raining. Like I know that's what constant means, but I want to I want to stress that for people who think I'm I'm ex exaggerating. Like no, we didn't get a single moment that it was not raining, and it was very nerve wracking because um, I had to drive in it not for work. I had I had a day off from work, thankfully, but I had to go run to the uh, hardware store pick something up. So. Wind was still probably pretty crazy. Yeah, it was, especially um, not not during the middle of the day, but after. Um, okay, here let me amend my statement from earlier. I guess technically it didn't rain all day because um, at like 11 p.m. it stopped raining finally, um, but it was extremely. Uh, windy. Like, very, very windy. Now, this fish here scared the shit out of me as a kid. Sounds like Ida's right up there with Katrina. Uh, I don't, I don't know how, in how intensely, uh, it hit Louisiana. I don't think it... I, I don't feel like it was as bad, at least in Louisiana, as it was uh, with Katrina. Katrina was terrible. I don't think Ida hit Louisiana as bad. But I know places like... Uh, up, I mean, up here in the uh, Northeast, um, like Jersey and New York, um, got hit really hard. Like, really, really bad flooding.
why do these people just have jiggies? This part is interesting. Yeah. For real. Oh, wait. Hang on. Earlier, uh, I think last stream, Carl made a comment about not being inside of a... of a... of a living creature's stomach. But, uh, no, he was... Uh, spoke a little too soon. I forgot about this part. Jonah and the whale situation. I mean, that fish is still unnerving to look at. I do not like its giant eyes. Is that all I could do in this level? Or in this area? I like that part in Spyro 3. I don't remember Spyro 3, unfortunately. I, I played it, not on stream, but I played it personally, but I do not remember it. I was very, like, laser-focused on 100%ing it, rather than, like, taking in the game, unfortunately. You end up doing PS1 in the future, that'll uh, that'll be one to look forward to. Uh, yeah, if I do if I do the Spiral Trilogy, it'll be the remastered. Because I know it's a very faithful recreation. That's what I originally played it on personally, is the remastered. My pressure's far too much for you down there, Banjo. Oh, yeah. There's Davy Jones' locker. We could do that. We could go down there right now, but I don't want to. For several reasons. I came from. I think that's where I came. It's a weird feeling play the originals after a couple of years of playing the uh, remasters. Yeah, like weird because like the, the it's so different or like new or or what? Like how's it weird? I'm sure I would agree with you, but I'm curious what your your take is. Sense of familiarity, but also sense that remaster is more polished. Oh yeah, but nostalgic at the same time. Definitely. Yeah, I know what you mean now. I would agree with you. Ripto's Rage was the one that I played the most. I didn't really play a ton of Spyro One. I like I played a little bit on the PS One ori originally, uh, but not very much. But Ripto's Rage was the one that I played a ton as a child. Uh, and Spyro 3, I just, I just never played as a kid. But I definitely understand what you mean with the nostalgia, because it, it, Ripto's Rage was very nostalgic to me. Getting to play that again. I, I love the soundtrack. I know some people were kind of divided on the on the remaster version of the original soundtrack, which a lot of people are for a lot of games that do that, that kind of like have that feature. Spyro 3 is kind of like these games in terms of it being jam-packed with content. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I remember that. Have you heard the mashup of the original and remastered soundtracks? I don't think I have. 
Sounds like that'd be something kind of cool to look at. Or listen to, I suppose. Be the better term. Actually, really good. I sh uh, is that just something like on YouTube? So I'll I'll look it up after uh, after the st stream. Oh, cool. Thank you. I will. That that. In my other tab to to watch later. I almost said read later. Description has the other two. Nice. Talon Torpedo. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. Eels need to calm down. Now I can get in this thing. Swimming bomb. Oh, I said that's that. How do I get the Cheeto? I feel like this is a level that's a big world done right. Make the player think it's smaller at first and then they discover the other piece of it. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty. It's pretty cool. And also, it's very smart placement of warp pads. At least I feel it is. This guy, I think, is fake. Yep, he's fake. Is there anything in here? Besides the Cheeto page? Just the, the Cheeto page. And I know... Well, I don't know. what they would have done if three actually happened because they learned already learned so many moves they probably would have done the route of uh i think grunty's revenge they actually have a plot where banjo and kazooie forget some of their moves because of like amnesia or something so they probably would have done something like that or uh i heard i i i think i read or watched or something like that it might have been in a um thank you emergent for that in a uh, iceberg video that I watched the other day that someone linked to um, of uh, Banjo, -Kazoo Banjo and Kazooie slash well because of the Banjo franchise um, that actually uh, 
showed off, um... Concept art for a lot of, uh... A lot of Banshee-Kazooie games, both released and unreleased. And most of them had some sort of concept of vehicle travel, or vehicle customization, traversal, that sort of thing. Which kind of points to the direction of, like, as much as the Banjo-Kazooie community kind of hates on uh, nuts and bolts, it almost feels like the franchise was destined to go in a vehicle format regardless. Uh. So maybe, maybe there would have been some sort of vehicle mechanic in Banjo-3. Um, not like the earliest concept art like Banjo-Kazooie and Tui, but like games after that, uh, would have, would have been like, we're all like a bunch of concept art for games after the first two were a lot of vehicle based stuff. Okay. So we got, I don't know. Omega. Is that Omega? That's either Sigma or Epsilon, I don't remember. Or I could be completely wrong and it's none of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, because there's... oops. Not really. This right here. Okay. Okay. So, so it is Sigma. Yeah, I was right. No, it didn't matter. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me for no reason. <laughs> I was like, is that Sigma or Epsilon? And Bex just comes in. Uh, I know Greek letters. I was in a fraternity. He was like in another room. He was barreling into the room. You were right. <laughs> what up, Chris? Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Monga W. Chris? <laughs> I get you. Camera is too expensive. Had no doubloons left. What? For the pig to be named Chris P. Bacon? It's just a, it's just a pattern. It would spell something. No. Uh. Yeah, let's protect you. Rare could do no wrong. Dude, Rare could do no wrong. Uh, when it comes to soundtracks. Hey. That was short-lived. Fuck is this mechanic, holy shit, yeah.
Yeah, yeah. I just need to... Boys, calm down. I know. Little guest boy. Yeah, so I have to... This pig wants to take pictures of these ruins, but these asshole fish keep bothering him. We have to defend him for a full ass minute. Don't ask me what an ass minute is. I don't know, like a like a New York minute, but longer. Instead of shorter. Ass minute. Easy. <laughs> a dummy minute. Yeah, the minute is thick. Big minute. I just got a message pop up in my OBS chat that just said, Welcome to the chat room. Also, dude's using a Game Boy camera. Talk about shit quality, dude. It's gonna be all for nothing because you can't see anything. Stick throw back. <laughs> Union Jack Andy over here. Ooh. This game was made by Brits. Ruin through. Don't know how I feel about them changing the got jiggy rhythm. I like the fact that you don't need uh I don't need to that you that it doesn't stop you. Like like in the first game you have to like stop in your tracks for Banjo Kazooie to do a little to do a jiggy jig. Uh it was kind of annoying. Jiggy jig. I'm pretty sure that's what the kind of. I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for too. Jiggy in here somewhere, right? Yeah. Kind of creative of them to uh, flood these caverns here. Because... Transformation. Have we learned a lot of rivers? Oh. I mean, underwater rivers, too. Whatever liquid that she uses for her, her transformation pool must be a thicker density than actual water for it to not merge with the surrounding water. Also, that book of spells is probably ruined now. Density, but thicker. 
Density butt thicker. Hey, you can fight the boss and it'll be a ton easier. True. Oh, nar Andy. I forgot the, the boss is so much easier. Can I blow this guy up? No, okay. For some reason, I thought you could. I don't know why the sonar freezes the octopi. How did this... How did this ship get all the way down here? It's surrounded by caverns. You know the warp pad ability? Yeah, I forgot. There's also a warp pad in here, but I forgot about that too. <laughs> this is why I can't speed run any games. I forget about speed optimizations. This is that cavern earlier that uh, Jam Jar said we couldn't get into. Uh, but now that we can get into it, it's a mini game. I don't need it. I don't need no stinking instructions. Basically, every other mini game in this game. But like way easier because these torpedoes home in on. Their targets. Why hardly any of them are blue. He's here, good boy. Yes. I am here. Jam jar beaks. Oh my god. However, I am not a dog. I streamed really late yesterday. I didn't stream at all yesterday. <laughs> I am not a dog. I know, hard to believe. And then what am I doing here? What are any of us doing here? There it is. Why over on the smallest, lowest podium? I do not want to play again. Considering you're not offering me another prize. See a jiggy down there. Lord Wu Fak Fak, self important angler fish. He did shoot on Lord Wu Fak Fak while he sleeps in his appallingly crabbed locker. Just brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't lie to me. You were going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died of worse you. I don't I'm not usually I'm not reading all of the uh characters text because there's so many characters, but I just I love Lord Wu back back. In our defense, we're not going to drain his tank. <laughs> we never said we were. I mean, we are ste <laughs> we are stealing his jiggy. 
I mean, it wouldn't be stealing if he voluntarily gave it to us. He would just give it to us. We wouldn't have to steal it. But we're not going to kill him. This is the other boss I had trouble with. Uh, when I was playing the remastered version for uh, the Xbox Live Arcade, um, this boss uh, in particular uh, gave me a lot of trouble. I don't think I ever got my time down refined enough uh, to make it under the 15 minute threshold that you had to do for a special achievement. Xbox is not super sensitive. Yes, the control stick was very sensitive. Is that the last one? No, the last one's here. I'm trying to lead my shots as best as I can. Blood in an E game. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. This game had blood in it. Only for this segment. But it had blood. Okay. Yeah, let's just stand in, in place. Or float, I guess. It's not blood, it's boss juice. Yeah, it's boss juice. Come on. How does the remaster of this in the first one compare to say the Mario Sunshine remake? Uh they this one is vastly superior. Uh the the remake for these games is vastly superior to the um Sunshine one because um, even though it doesn't technically add anything new to either of the two games, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't just a, a port, a one-to-one -one port, right? They, they upscaled all the models, they upscaled the textures as best as they could, at least, um, updated the controls to make most of them feel much more smoother, uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, the um, control stick is extremely sensitive. <laughs> Hundred years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. We're not killing you. I mean, we didn't want to. It'll be fine. Anyways, uh, yeah, they just did a lot more to this game, to these two games, than what Nintendo did for Mario Sunshine. Is it, is that really the only thing to do with the submarine? I think it, I think it is. Nintendo does so little with remasters. For the most part, yes. They did a lot of good for Wind Waker Remake. Uh, they didn't do jack shit, in my opinion, to the uh, Twilight Princess Remake. Um, like, and they didn't even, they didn't even do it. Uh, that's the worst part of it. Nintendo didn't even helm the Twilight Princess remaster. They they outsourced it to another company. They were like, uh, everyone loves Wind Waker HD, so let's get us a few extra bucks and do Twilight Princess 2. But fuck Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I 
skimmed the Dead Space 1 press release and tech demo. Don't really know how you feel. I've said for years I'd play a DS, uh, Dead Space remaster with a drop of a hat, but don't know. I haven't seen anything of it. I I've been meaning to look into that because I love Dead Space a lot. Um, how faithful of a remake is it? Are they trying to change too much shit? Or, or what are they doing? Doesn't seem to change. Okay, that's a good thing in my opinion. I don't feel like they needed to change a lot of things in Dead Space. Zero G is now 3D and not jumping. Okay, that is good. That's a see. That's a quality of life update. Um, Isaac will be voiced. Well, that's not so bad considering he was voiced in two and three. One, he will mostly speak when spoken to. And two, he won't say much when you're alone except for like, holy fuck, kind of a moment. Yeah. I can be here for it. I like the man. Yeah, I'm 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 fine with that. I don't I don't mind that he he talks in Dead Space 1. Cuz he talks in Dead Space 2 and it's fine. I don't remember I don't know if he talks in Dead Space 3 to be honest with you. I don't even know if he's in Dead Space 3 cuz I haven't played it. I can't speak to that. Still think DS2 is the most fun. I agree with you. 100%. I don't want to talk too much about it because I want to play it on stream, so I don't want to uh, spoil anything for anyone. But it is, as you just said, I was literally just about to say that it's a good balance between action and horror. It's it's perfectly balanced. Well, maybe not perfectly, but it's very well balanced. Certainly better than uh, some of the Resident Evil games. You've heard DS2 as in Dark Souls 2 is really lame out of the three. I can't speak to that because I've only ever played Dark Souls 3. Well, that's the last Jinjo for, uh, <laughs> for... Litter Gulch Mine. Buppers. Also, hello, Carl. I saw earlier I was uh, distracted by the Dead Space talk, but how are you all today? Now it's time for some Jolly Rogers Lagoon. That was close. I almost died. I don't think that I don't think these fan blades would kill me. I think they would just hurt me. And Zayo, I I uh, saw you earlier earlier in chat, and I uh, commented on one of your quips. But hello, I didn't officially welcome you in. I don't think I don't remember. I, my memory's terrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, you know what? I meant to... Not do that. Yo, thank you guys for welcoming everybody into the stream. Whenever they come in. That's really nice. Pet the people! Pet that people. I don't have- I don't have the pet pet like you had in your stream the other night, so we, we can't pet pet things, but... Hey 
you and Carl are, are praying for, for RE4? What, like, for me to play it? Where are you at? There you are, right in front of me. Dude, rude. Mind your own business. Like, seriously, pufferfish, if you don't want me near you... Might be on delay. Oh, no problem. I don't think it's my end. Uh, because... Uh, my, my stream note, my, my, um, my OBS shows a green light, which is good. 0.6% frames dropped, so very, very low frame drops. Yeah, try refreshing like Emergent said. Oh, a little bit of a dip? Okay. I hope it's sorted itself out now, though. As much as I want to lurk other people's streams while I'm streaming, if I, I, I think I realized that's why I, I had so many, um, so many nights where I would, um, just disconnect. Uh, because I, I would be streaming other people's streams so my connection wasn't as good so I, I can't lurk in other people's streams while I stream unfortunately streams refreshed nice Oh, cool! You have me at 160. Nice. Does that does that cut my uh, audio quality, or is it just a uh, uh, video quality? I imagine it's just a video, but update. It affects the audio. Oh, okay. So now I'm, I'm real nice and crispy. Bit crushed. I'm sure it's not that. I'm not I'm sure it's not quite that extreme, but drop the resolution, like emergent and mentioned, and so now everything looks like an N64 game. Wait a second. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I think I have an idea of how to get that. I just don't. I want to wait. I'm gonna have probably gonna have to wait. That's that's the worst thing about this game. Uh, honestly, the uh, there are so many jiggies and collectibles and stuff that you can't get in a lot of the earlier levels without having all. Or, or certain um, moves 
that you can't get until later levels, and it bothers the hell out of me. There was only one instance of that in Banjo-Kazooie. It's very easily remedied because you could just go to the... Like, Gobi's Valley had the, uh... Beak Barge. And Breezy Z Peak had the speed shoes or the other way around. I don't remember. But it didn't have very much backtracking, and you could actually alleviate the backtracking if you wanted to. By making a quick detour to one of the other level one of the opposite levels, you know? Also, now we're in Grunty Industries. anything in here right now. I think this is just to, to get the intro. I dislike backtracking very strongly. I won't go so far as to say I hate it, but I certainly never say, yes, backtracking! Yeah, it's it's a way to artificially increase the runtime of the game. I've never liked it. It's always very tedious. And, uh, and making making mini games uh, a required thing, like the mini games in this game are not required. You don't have to, at least to to beat the game, they're not required. You can skip them and be okay. Um, and so you don't have to do them. The reason I bring that up is because. Noemon's Great Adventure. As much as I loved that game, but we all know, uh, I got very irritated towards the end of the game because uh, some of the entry passes, which were basically that game's jiggies, uh, were locked behind mini games that you had to beat because there weren't enough entry passes to get from levels. Normally, you get an entry pass at the end of the level. But there weren't enough. You had to do a couple of the mini games in order to actually beat the game. I thought you were mentioning Bonatory Media Games because of Rare. Okay, yeah, that's true. Actually, that's also valid. DK64 is the, the arcade cabinet and jetpack. Yeah, you have to beat those mini games in order to beat the game. That's another instance of that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Get the cell phone for that. This game was definitely made at the end of the N64 life cycle. So consider there's a cell phone joke. It's kind of a oh you look kind of ironic the fact that they need ice to power their ship. Uh, and what is with today in UFOs? I don't know. They need ice to power their ship, but they're literally underwater. I don't know if ironic was even the right term just then, but... I'll be the first to admit that I have misused the term quite uh, frequently. 
you want something creepy like aliens, try searching Skinwalker Ranch. Oh no, I've searched that. I know what you're talking about. Tell you what, one thing, one alien based thing uh, freaked me the hell out. Uh, were, or was the, uh, the Flatwood, Flatwoods monster. If you've never heard of that, search that up if you want to not sleep tonight. Yeah, there you go, Emergent, if you're still listening. Uh, search up the Flatwoods monster if you've never heard of it. That'll keep you awake. Flatwoods monster? Yeah. It's an American, uh, cryptid. Much like the Jersey Devil, or... Sounds kind of lame. It's... Uh, visually not lame. I'm good. I have enough pl uh, plans for tonight. You gotta try harder than that if you really want to be terrified. What do you got? Look at my sleep schedule. Oh god, no! We have a myth in Norway called, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, female luring males into the forest and she drowns them in the swamp. Oh. I feel like I've heard of something similar to that. <laughs> Is she hot? <laughs> Is she thick, though? Might not be able to fight it. Is Ao going to get killed trying to, trying to clap Norwegian... Uh, ghost cheeks. <laughs> if she thick, that's a wrap. I'm done for. Not an awful way to die. I mean, probably not. There's definitely worse, I'm sure. Lures them with her voice and looks. Yeah, sounds like a mermaid, but like swamp lady. Swamp witch. What what have I not done in this? A lot, apparently. Did I not get that? Imagine what a modern horror myth would be. She lures him in with twerking and an Aheago face. Yeah. <laughs> like a siren? Yeah, like a siren. Freeze. Dude, get frozen. Oh my god, I was running out of ice eggs for a second. Sheesh. Um What am I missing? I mean I know I know there's a there's a, a page that I didn't get in in one of these buildings because I I don't have the means to do so. What's monster is scary? It is, dude. I've got, I've become slightly desensitized to it in recent years because I've I've read so much about it and kind of like exposed myself to it a little bit more so it doesn't doesn't scare me quite as much. But I did forget to pick it up. Wow. Isn't it a bit rude to walk to the octopus's home and freeze him? Yes. And that's all I have to say. Uh, 
I mean, what... What else is there to do right now? I think... I think that's all I'm gonna do right now for Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Uh, I'm gonna go to a different level. Because I know I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna have to fucking backtrack a lot of shit already. I'm just gonna... Uh, <laughs> yes. Novelist 64, 2021. Don't hold that against me. Uh... I know I'm gonna have to do a bunch of stuff and do a bunch of backtracking anyways. So... I'll worry about that stuff later. I know, I know. Controversial take that Carl just quoted me on. Oops, wrong thing. I have 10 more jiggies than I need. What is this? Oh, right, Grunting Industry. I keep forgetting Grunting Industries is a level. It's one of my favorites. But let the truth be told. Speak your truth. Oh. I really like these these puzzles. They brought I'm I'm glad they brought them back for the sequel. And I say brought them back. It's not something that we saw on my stream of Banjo Kazooie. And there's a reason for that that I'll get into in a second. But they had these sort of moving puzzle minigames in Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, as a bonus, you can unlock bonus cheat codes for the game. That, uh... Would transform Banjo-Kazooie physically into, like, these weird, wacky, uh, character models. Um, the only reason I didn't do that is because, um... The... The game, because it records records Banjo Kazooie's movements uh, in those mini games, it actually collects the notes. They're they're like notes in the scenes that you do puzzles for, and they actually collect the notes in the scene, and it can ruin your note total. And make it impossible to uh, one hundred percent the game. Yeah, let me do let me do the jig let, let me do the jiggy challenge. Let me do the jiggy chalengi. Hailfire Peaks is this late? I thought Hailfire Peaks came before Jake the Grunty Industries. Have we played part-time UFO? I have not. Not much interest in playing it, if I'm being honest. Um, I watched some gameplay of it, and I was like, yeah, this is cute, but... Very simple. But also kind of tricky. Like, it's, it's a simple concept, but tricky execution. Um, I don't think it's something I would stream or anything. Fire Peaks uh, unlocked. Hellfire Peaks unlocked. Cocked and unlocked. 
Act like a gun, Chad. Let's go back to Pine Grove. Oh, come on. Do I have to actually hit the face? Have you played part-time UFO, Carl, or were you just curious about it? Stop or get more meetings. Good at this one. This was one of the boss fights uh, that was really easy after you practiced it a while. Because uh, you could kind of like get an easy cycle after he finishes throwing the potions if you time it right and peck him just as he gets out of the force field. Mentioning it because I completed it today. Oh. A little entirely infuriating at the end, but overall pretty good. Yeah. I, I could see how that would get really irritating towards the end. Go return for more beatings. Yo, Klungo, that ain't healthy. I mean, Banjo tried to tell him. Big-ass egg to shoot out of the back of Kazooie. Oh my god, Kazooie, I'm so sorry. Okay, well, one of these is fake. Not that one. That one! 
Magic Kazooie's butt fan art? Oh, probably. We're not gonna get into that, Neko, but probably. Ow. Sorry about that. That was probably a terrible noise. But you put the idea into your head? Uh, I did no such thing. I am not responsible for chat's mental gymnastics. Hey, I have enough problems being responsible for my own. Uh, we're gonna go back to Jinjo Village. I was reminded of a couple things. You know how sad I am, IRL? Um, hopefully not much. Try not to be? Well, that's a good first step to take. I know just as well as anyone that it's not quite as easy to be, oh, I'm sad. Well, don't be. Like, oh, great, you cured me. Like, I know that's not a thing, but there is a there is merit to the whole like kind of getting in the right mindset mindfulness as uh, my therapist would say One other thing. Wonder what's inside. Nothing valuable. That's for damn sure. Still collected them, because I wanted to. Isn't that egg for big grid, a big bird, and they hatch into cheats? Uh, yes. Yeah, pretty much. Eggs. Eggs! Well, let's run to Mayhem Temple. That egg cheat activated. Sick, dude. I threaded that needle. That maximum eggs. Hell yeah. Egg. Oh, 
egg. Go pop. Then now we go to Pterodactyl Land. Gotta reset my feed real quick. Give me a second. E B. Yes, you are live. Welcome to my least favorite level in the game. Cool transformation in this level. Least favorite level. Control the clockwork kazooie. Ass. Others not so easy, but literally all of them have the same weakness. How often do you revisit 100%ed games? Um, I don't know. If it's older games like N64 era, quite often. Um, but uh, other era video games, not very often, come to think of it. Which is another thing that this game is, or that this stream is gonna be good for. Because there are a lot of games in like the GameCube, PS2, even some from the PS1 era that I have never revisited ever uh, since playing them. I was actually going through my old Xbox play history, because you can access it all now from the PC. And there are a lot of games I don't even remember playing. Uh, for the Xbox 360. Um, that I would actually really love to play again. I think that's another cool thing I might do. I see. Lame that was bad on my part. There's a there's certain exceptions to revisiting 100% of games like Super Mario Sunshine, I've played so many times. Um, and, like, Fable, I've replayed quite often. Now, I don't really know if you can even 100%... I mean, no, you can you can 100% Fable. There's quests and everything if you beat all the side quests and stuff. But, yeah, I've, I've played... If I've never 100%ed Fable, I've played it quite extensively. At the very least. Um, 
and uh, I've gone back and played that a few times too. But it's sequels two and three I've never played again since I played them the first time. That's an excellent question though, Carl. Thank you for that. Chompasaurus, stomach cramped carnivore. And then we're getting eaten. This game has not one, but two inside of a beast segments. another shooting minigame. But it's extremely easy. Basically, this dude's got massive uh, indigestion. Miguel, Gustavo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the dive team. <laughs> well, Banjo got eaten. <laughs> Onto the DK, yeah. Game's over. Banjo's dead. How are you doing tonight, Miguel? How many points did I have to get? It, like, doesn't even matter, because I know I got it. Bro thought a jiggy was a cookie. Do not want to play again. Now cough me back up. Is that how you guys cough things up? You just scream at it? The interesting thing about Banjo Tooie, though, is that it doesn't use a lot of its older moves very frequently. Which I suppose it doesn't have to necessarily. You do, you scream in order to cough things up. <laughs> Miguel, nice. I uh, love the redeems. Flat bear. I love flat bear. It looks even lazier flattened. Squished Pogo Doggo. Who cares about, about having a long name? You tell him, Miguel. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with your name. Ago <laughs> Doggo would be Otto, though. Otto's pocket. <laughs> you have to go in six minutes anyways.
That's fine, Neko. You know you dish out just as much snark. <laughs> Your favorite level's Jolly Roger's Lagoon? Hey, I don't blame you. You don't have to defend that opinion. That It's a good level. I didn't like it as a kid because it freaked me out, but I love it now. You have no shame in the truth. That's very good, Neko. Thick enough. Does this level have a secret passage between here and Mumbo's tavern? If it doesn't, it should. Scream your truth. Uh oh. Emote command didn't work. I don't know what TK is supposed to be. There you go. Who cares? Auto cares. <laughs> Pointed auto. I haven't played this game, so if you ask me my favorite level, you need to take um, the one with the bear. The bird, also. That's a valid answer, yeah. The one with the main characters in it. I do not remember the past phase. Well, this one goes for this, so take care of that. Full frame rates. Dash from Cloud Cuckoo Land? <laughs> huh? Yeah, Miguel, Carl's never played this game before, so... He has no idea what you're talking about. I do, though. Bash is a pretty good character. Getting the numbers to unlock it's kind of annoying, but... I'm gonna explode. You liked Banjo Kazooie, but you never played 2E or 3E. No one's ever played 3E. I want to meet the person who did. <laughs> I died of the. I'm going to explode! <laughs> I didn't lie. Banjo 3E don't existent. It ex it exists in like like this. Existent. I know I can't really do anything in uh, the cave here, because this is the dino cave, right? Or is this the train station? 
you don't <laughs> you don't have the best name. No, 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 that wasn't a comment on your English. That was uh, that was me making up a word. <laughs> Brazilian, nice. Very sickly. Otto. Oh. Oh boy, Otto. It's great here. I'm walking away. Came back tiny. What was the most recent way to play these rare games? Uh, that would be r the rare replay. That was released as a compilation uh, of all of um, Rare's games that they've ever made. The, uh, this one and Kazooie were on it. It's actually a really great deal. If, you, if you're looking for a lot of extremely high quality games to play, um, you, could, you could do no wrong by getting uh, the Rare Replay Collection. Was a zubby dub. Yeah, cool. Fall and almost die. Cause... Yes, entire with an asterisk. <laughs> much like my, much like my streams. Stop and swap or treasure pirate. Banjo Kazooie versus Ukulele. Who wins in this battle? I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna say stop and swap because I've never finished Ukulele. I got as far as the ice level, which I think is the second level. And it wasn't that I, I hated ukulele. Uh, it's just I, I didn't I didn't feel motivated to to play it. I don't know why that the, there's the, the charm. Uh, wasn't quite there. I guess. Soulless, yes, it is soulless. No charm, and it's open, and nothing to do. Yeah. Yeah, this game, uh, ukulele is unfortunate. I wanted it to be good so badly, um, but it wasn't that great. You are fake, right? Yeah, you're fake. There is a real one in here, though, right? I thought there was. All go shape of the pair. Some of the creators of this didn't make it. Some of them I would have called it a ripoff. Oh yeah, true. It definitely would have been a ripoff. More, it would have been more of a ripoff than a than a uh, spiritual successor that fell short. my expertise in some fields. What fields would, would those be, Carl? A le legitimate question. Aside from uh, retro video game soundtracks, what other fields of expertise do you have? And anyone else can answer this too. Uh, and my follow-up question, passions. Does anyone have a passion that they have? 
any cool projects they'd like to work on, hobbies, that sort of thing. Jinjo's the best mystic creature and have a big power for making a big Jinjo. Yeah, the, the Jinjinator. The Jinjinator is cool. I get the carry pack here, or do I get it from another area? Is that one of the moves I learned in here? I don't remember. Jinjinator <laughs> 2, Jinjmint Day. Why is that then? Oh, right, I have to scare this dude away. Yeah, thank you. You play the expansion because you again ghouls or jinjos. Prefer jinjos, but like you can't play it 100. percent Yeah, uh, that's another thing. I don't, I don't even remember about ghouls. Yeah, they're like the collectible ghosts, right? Um, not a big fan of those. Considering, like you, like you said, a lot of them can like walk around and kind of mess you up and confuse things, like kind of almost get you lost. Not a big fan of that. Oh, just teach Kazooie how to lay eggs while Banjo's listening. It's not like... What? Have to get going? All right, man. Thanks for tuning in, Carl. We'll see you, uh, uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Sunday afternoon. Uh, if you can make it, of course. That's going to be when the next stream is. I'll post on my Discord about it. That's Kazooie's last solo um, thing. Oof. Maybe not. No, it's not. She has at least one more in Grunty Industries. Um, Enter the Guardians, but yes. Yeah, but just yes. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Um, and if I didn't, I don't remember if I said it or not, Carl, but thank you for the Discord call out.
one globo. This, I think, is a shortcut, yeah. But Is, but I don't remember. No, okay. Well, let's go in here. I know there's a move for banjo in here, but I don't know which one it is. I don't think it's the snooze pack. And I don't think it's the jumping pack or the armored pack. Gotta be the carry pack. Whoa, I don't like that flickering. That's kind of free. Made me think it was a bug or something. Giant moth flying underwater. Kazooie to peck. Gotta be careful not to get eaten. Alright. What up? Taxi pack, that's what it is. Ooh, it's what you lack. Large things up off the ground, in the go, and carry them around. I don't remember the music. <laughs> Now I can carry the sick, uh, the sick dino child to the train, take him to uh, Mumbo on the mountain, or on the cliffside. What's on the other side of the river? I don't remember. Where did I come from here? I also don't remember. Let's find out. Gotta go to bed and go to sleep. Alright, man. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks again for the follow. We'll see you next time. gotten all the, the honeycomb pieces? Wow, that did not... I've all gotten only one Jiggy for this level, and I've gotten all three Jigsaw pieces. Gotten all the moves, too. That's, that's good. Yeah. oh Right, we're back down here. That's, that's fine. Mm. I already went in here, didn't I? That goes up to the other level. Yes, I did. That's the train station.
I have to hit straight on. Yeah, I have to hit straight on. I just realized there's a button there. I remembered it. Clockwork one. Asshole. Hey, it did. Neat. Go back over here. And do exactly what I mentioned earlier. Just the whole, uh, dino child thing. talking about? Yeah, I can. I mean, I know I could, but... Thank God it doesn't make me ledge grab all the way over there. I thought it was going to at first. From a distance, it looked like it would. Kid, I'm gonna take you real quick. <laughs> then take him to the train. The reason I'm doing this, in case anyone's wondering, is, uh, the train, I can take it to the cliffside, where there's a special mumbo hut there that I can use to heal the sick dino. Banjo without the sack on his back uh, is kind of cursed. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, cool. I can just post up here and bring Kazooie over without having to walk all the way back over there because Kazooie's faster than Banjo. anything with the Terranet, with the, um, we haven't done the boss fight, we haven't done anything with the T-Rex, spoiler alert, there's a T-Rex in this level, um, hmm, 
Let's see about getting up to Terry. Here. Oh yeah, this this just leads back to. Over there. I haven't really done anything over there either, though. Oh, right. God, there's a little tiny hole over here. Okay. I think there's one more, right? One more. This level's got a lot of verticality to it. Especially for a level that doesn't allow you to fly in its main section. Ringy step boots from inside here. I feel like the springy step boots are a little redundant because of the shocks, the shock jump pad. Um, but hey, whatever. They're fun. This is probably one of the later additions to the game. Probably like, we want another move to add to the game. What can we do? Well, let's just put spring shoes. I guess it's more like, not skill based necessarily, but it's like a, it's a timed shock, mobile shock jump. Uh, that could add a little bit of, like a little element of trickiness. Now we're gonna f we're we're on the path to a, an awfully phlegm-filled pterodactyl. Basically, keep moving, don't stop. Now, luckily, we got this warp pad. In case we fall here, like I almost did just now. We have another place to get up to. I don't know that going through here is going to be worth it right now. I mean, I do get a warp pad on the other side here, if I'm remembering correctly. It won't be quite a waste. But I know there's something I can't do here just yet. But I may be able to do some of it? I don't know.
Like, I'm tempted to not even do this section yet. Ombonadon! Triassic Steam. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do this part yet. I need a certain... Uh, I need a certain ability for Banjo that heals him on the go when he's by himself, and I don't have that yet. And the best pathing is to... Because you saw there were three switches on the other side of the stomping planes. The best pathing is to... Uh, go w there with one character, so Banjo or Kazooie. Uh, step on their respective switches. Teleport back. Do the, other, the same thing with the other character. Step on the opposite switch. Then pair back up again. Uh, and... Um, get the duo switch. That's also... There. That was the third switch that was there. What's this? What? Oh, this looks... I don't think I need to be up here. But it'll come in handy nonetheless. Boss battle. Light fingered bear. Dude, it become extinct. Does that mean, by that comment, does that mean we've time traveled to get here? Disgruntled pterodactyl parent. I barely see, but I need those. Damn it, I picked up a boss. Euclid. I almost called them Flemoids. That's a Chex Quest thing. Snotty buddies. Oh man. Oh, I'm running low on health. Nice big target. Aim at. Not hard to hit Terry. This is easily one of the easiest boss fights. That was a strange sentence, but whatever. The math of pterodactyl, by the way. I just commented on how big of a target she is, but like, holy crap. Terry. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. She actually gives us two jiggies. We get one for beating her, essentially, and then another one for hatching all her eggs. I was wrong. We do get to fly around the larger part of the level. Forgot about that. 
Oh man, I didn't even get to the Oogle Cave. They really didn't know what to do with all the jiggies in this level, it feels like. There's one for beating Terry, one for hatching her eggs, and then there's just one underneath her nest, like that one just there. That's gonna be it tonight, though, I feel like. I feel like it's a good stopping point. We, st we haven't finished Pterodactyl Land, but honestly, we have so many to do. Um, we have so much stuff to do, uh, that I think we might, uh, call it here for Pterodactyl Land, right? Uh, next stream, go to, um, uh, Grunty Industries and, free, uh, not free, ZZ Peak. Hailfire Peaks. So Sunday we'll do two more game, two more levels, possibly some backtracking to other for, uh, previous levels. Um, take care of some, clean up some stuff. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, and we will tune in on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. See you guys later. <laughs>